today on Neighborhood Photographer. It's all about macro photography and how to take pictures like this. If you want to learn how to take pictures like that, stick around. I'm Ray Scott and welcome to Visual Art Photography Tutorials where today we're going to take a close look and macro photography. How to set it up, the equipment that you're going to need, and what you're going to come up with in the end. So let's go over there and take a look at how we're going to do this today. Before we go any further, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you subscribers. Your support is much appreciated. So here's the equipment that we're going to be needing. Some of it is optional, however. Of course, the tripod, that is essential. And then you have uh, various lenses and even uh, a macro focusing rail. You see a towel there. That's to capture water droplets. I'm using some CDs just to uh, uh, make things a little bit higher if I need to. And you saw the flower there as well. Now here's a closer look. You see that I'm using a 50 millimeter macro with uh, an adapter to bring it up to 100%, so we have life size there. This, these Kenko extenders bring it up to um, two and a half times life size, and then of course you have a cable release, which is extremely important, and a syringe here, but you can use a water dropper uh, just as well. Now, here's the actual setup. I've got the plant actually tilted so that the leaves are a little bit more horizontal so that the water droplet won't fall off. You can see it's stacked on top of some CDs, but you can put it on top of anything you want. Um, and then I have a flower here. Now that flower, by the way, is not real. It's artificial, but uh, and it works just as well. But real flowers, of course, uh, would be very, very acceptable too. And the camera, you can see the lens is up very, very close here. Uh, and you get a closer look uh, right about now as we zoom in a bit more. And you'll see that uh, you'll see a water droplet there. That's just that's not going to be the final water droplet, just to give us an idea of what's going on. Okay, so here we are. I have I'm using the macro focusing rail, but it's not something that you have to have. Uh, I've taken lots of macro pictures without it, and uh, I just happen to like it. It makes things very very easy. It has a micro focusing adjustment on it too, but you can just as easily move the tripod back and forth uh, and get in close. But don't forget to extend your focusing on your lens. Get that, uh, get that focused as close as possible so that you can get a nicely magnified uh, image. And then move it back and forth, either on the tripod or on a focusing rail. So here we are. Now all we have to do is add a few water droplets, and we're going to do that now. Not always an easy thing, because when you start moving things around on the table, sometimes the water uh, falls off just after you've put it there perfectly and this is what you do now you move the flower around to the left and to the right back and forth and you can do that and even better if you can do that uh, while the lens while you're looking through the camera through the viewfinder we lost a water droplet there so put another one back on then you line it up and you start taking pictures and depending on what you do with the flower in the background, you may change the color and the look. Now this last one is actually my favorite. I'm using the black background on the wall to really bring out the flower. And it almost looks like the leaf is flying off of something red there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on macro photography. Until next time, remember, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.